Hello and Namaste. Welcome to the Distance Education conducted by Anpasan Kaski. It's me, your science teacher. Okay. Today we are going to learn class three science. The topic is animals and plants are source of food. Clothes. Okay. So in our previous class we have learned about the uses of plants and their parts of plants is a foods of human beings and and animals they are cared for economic purposes. Okay, we have also learned about the different parts of plants are eaten as a food, such as we eat root as a food, stem, leaves, flower, fruits, etc. Okay, also in our previous class we have learned about that plant uses as medicines, paper, gum, rubber, perfume, paint, etc. and etc. These are the materials we have learned in our previous class. So students, in our today's class, what are the main objectives and what are we are going to learn? Please learn it before it. Okay, the use of plants and animals in making clothes, such as rope, sacks, and other useful articles. Today we are going to learn. Okay, from plant, what are the useful materials are going to make? Okay, we are going to learn. The use of animals as a means of transportation in remote areas. Also, we are going to learn in today's class. Also, the animals like dog, cat, etc. are pet animals which are kept in our home for many reasons. These kinds of general ob objectives today we are going to discuss. So, students, within no a delay, so let's discuss about the plants and animals as a source of clothes. Plants, plants and animals is the source of clothes okay is a source of clothes can you tell me what is used to make clothes what materials is used to make clothes okay obviously the clothes is made with Cotton or wool. Cotton or wool. So, let's talk about the cotton. So, what is cotton? From where the cotton is available or product? Cotton is the plant product, and wool is animal product. Okay, that's why animals and plants are the source of clothes. Okay. Basically, cotton is a plant seed. Understood? Cotton is a plant seed. Okay. So cotton fiber is obtained from cotton plant. Okay. Cotton fiber is obtained from where? Cotton plant. So before going to the animal product, let's learn about the plant product that is cotton. Okay. That is cotton plant. Cotton is produced from cotton plant so can you say some cotton clothes yes we can say some cotton clothes are we can see here shorts we can see short pant pants jeans okay etc these are the some cotton clothes Okay, so cotton clothes are basically comfortable. We wear cotton clothes in summer season. Okay, we wear cotton clothes in summer season. They are comfortable. Okay, they are soft and they absorb water and sweat easily. Okay, they are good in quality. They are good strength. These are the some characteristics of cotton clothes. Okay, so. The raw materials needed for making clothes, okay, mattress, etc., are cotton. Cotton are the raw materials. Cotton, wool are what? Raw materials. Cotton, wool are the raw materials which are used to make clothes. Okay, cotton is a fiber. 
okay thread is made out of cotton the cotton thread is used to make various types of clothes like short pant towel etc these are the some clothes which are made from cotton etc okay so cotton are very good in quality they absorb sweat easily okay so these are the some quality of cotton so cotton fiber is also used to make what it is used to make carpet as well also it is used to make cushion okay so cotton are very useful understood so it is mostly covered with a piece of cloth and stitched with the fixed cotton inside have you seen pillow we use pillow while sleeping yes inside the pillow inside the pillow we see cotton fiber okay we see what we see cotton fiber so jute let's learn about the jute now jute and cotton are different okay jute jute is the fiber that we use from jute or hemp you see we get jute from jute plant or hemp these are the sources of jute okay jute fiber is used to make rope sack carpet etc okay the materials used for jute are rope sack and carpet carpet okay these are the materials made from root and we wear woolen clothes okay so let's move on to wool we wear woolen clothes especially in winter season so what are the main source of wool we get wool from sheep from rabbit these are the sources of wool and basically we wear woolen clothes in winter season okay that woolen clothes give us what warmth okay they keep our body warm okay some animals that give us wool are sheep rabbit etc woolen clothes are very warm and very good for winter season okay so we get fine fiber from silk more than silk worm as well okay these are the animals okay animals product also we get from animal that is silk silk we get silk from silk moth or silk worm okay silk moth or silk worm basically silk is used to make sari shawl or scarf okay they are used to make sari shawl okay they are used to make sari shawl or scarf etc these are made from what made from silk okay they are very in good quality okay so do you think what are your shoes made of the shoes are made from the leather which is the animal skin okay let's talk about the leather so what is leather basically leather is known as animal skin animals skin okay animal skin which is used to make what shoes jacket 
बैग्स बेल्ट एसेट्रा ओके सो फ्रॉम विच एनिमल्स वी गेट लेदर एनी गेसेस फ्रॉम यू ओके द एनिमल्स वी गेट लेदर फ्रॉम स्पेशली हॉर्सेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी गेट लेदर फ्रॉम बफेलो हॉर्स ओके सीप स्नेक एनी गेसेस फ्रॉम यू स्नेक पीग पीग क्रोकोडाइल क्रोकोडाइल एसेट्रा फ्रॉम दिस एनिमल स्किन वी कैन मेक सूज जैकेट बैग बेल्ट एंड अदर क्लोथिस एंड अदर थिंग्स एज वेल दिस सूज बैग जैकेट्स आर वट दे आर गुड एंड स्ट्रोंग and they are long lasting okay they are long lasting means once we buy leather shoes leather jacket bags or belt then it is very long lasting it will be remain for long time okay so that is the characteristics of leather bag okay it is long lasting and very high quality although it has advantage but it has this advantage as well this leather bag leather shoes and leather belt are very expensive okay they are very expensive and they are easily wear and tear okay so uh, any examples from uh, leather we can get suitcase as well okay and other thing okay so basically we see we learn about plants and animals are a source of clothes in today's topic okay so plants and animals are very useful basically plants are used for decoration and soil erosion and climate control okay plants are used in a food flavoring also plants are used as a medicine used as a vegetable fruits they are used as a wood rubber paint paper etc okay so animals and plants are very important to us okay we must preserve plants and animals understood all of you yes okay let's move on to another topic now okay another topic some animals are used as a means of transportation as well some animals are used as a transportation do you know what is transportation yes transportation means moving from one place to another place okay transportation means what moving from one place to another place clear all of you okay let me give some example if your village in outside the pokhara valley for example if your village in is in gorkha then how could you go there from pokhara to gorkha we need vehicles we need bus we need uh, we go through bike okay so these are the transportation road transportation we use what we use road transportation so let me omit this transportation animals are used as transportation okay have you ever gone to the village area of course we have gone okay most of the students or you my dear students you have gone to the village area in village area there is a lack of facilities there is no any road transportation like in cities area we have lots of road transportation facilities we have car we have buses we have vans we have scooters we have bike lots of vehicles are here but in the rural area there is no any vehicles because due to the high mountains okay due to high mountains and hills where there so we feel very difficult to make here road transportation due to this reason our country is lack developed in road transportation 
So, some animals are used as a transportation. So, what are that animals? Okay. So, some animals, basically, examples are donkey, horse, mule, elephant, Other example you can give? Yes, mountain goat, mountain goat, and yak are the some animals which are used as a transportation. Okay, they also carry loads, carry loads. Okay, so these animals are very useful for carrying us or for carrying heavy loads from one place to another place. Okay, so due to this reason, these animals are very important not only for source of clothes, not only for source of food. Okay, they are used as a transportation as well. Okay, they are very useful for us. Clear all of you? Okay. These animals carry goods from one place to another place. Okay. From one place to another place. So, they are very important. Okay. So, class, uh, let me give some match the following for you. Uh, we have complete our chapter here. So, I would like to give some match the following and you, uh, I will, uh, you will have to do it okay match the following okay please try to solve it match the following okay okay uh, first is strawberry Strawberry, hemp, sheep, another one, yes, or we can say, we can write here, snake, another point is, what, is, Hemp, sheep, strawberry, spinach, yes. Spinach. Okay, I would like here some options, okay. Here leaves, fruits, steam, leather, fiber. Okay, strawberry means what? Strawberry is a fruits. Okay, so we have to match here fruits. Hemp is a fiber. Clear all of you? We get what we get from silk. We get from sheep. We get wool. Sorry for the option. We get wool. Okay. So from snake give us what? Leather. Spanish is used as a lips. Okay, these are the important question, which is very important in term of exam. Okay, strains. Uh, in this way, our this chapter is has been ended. Okay, so before leaving my class, I would like to give some homeworks for you. Okay, please note it down. Okay, I would like to give some homeworks for you. Please note it note it down. First question is, what are the sources of food? What are the sources of food? What benefit we get from horse and Mill. What benefit we get from horse and mill? 
okay from what we get all from which animal we get all okay these are the some homeworks for you in this way our science class has been ended here so goodbye everybody we'll see you in next class thank you